Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Sundial. Uh, I've talked about this one uh, numerous times if you uh, follow my channel, and uh, it's the one that we uh, love to hate, uh, hate to love, however you want to put it. Um, yeah, this one needs to get back up above a dollar. I've been saying that for the last couple videos, so... Um, not only to uh, prevent from getting delisted, but uh, so I can get my money back. But um, this is what it looks like over the last year, down over uh, 23%. Um, had the nice run up there on February 10th at 295. Uh, it'd be nice if they had another uh, February 10th uh, run up. And down over 26% in the last three months. In the last month, it's down about 25% in the last week. Down over 13%, and wow, Green Day. Who'd have thunk it? Started off at 44 cents, 46, had a nice run up there at 48. So, I have, um, if you don't know much about this one, I'll go over it in a minute. Again, this is Sundial, ticker SNDL. I have my 210 still at $1.04. Uh, might be time to buy some more, but, um, I hate to dump any more money into this one, but uh, but this is an MJ stock. It's been around since uh, 2006, uh, 64 million uh, shares, uh, 72.45 on the average, $981.38 million market cap, a 52-week low of $0.40, cents, a high of three ninety six. Here's a look at their next earnings on uh, March. Uh, so February and March is going to be an interesting couple of months for Sundial here. I haven't touched this one since April. Back in the 85 cents. I uh, wish those wouldn't even have filled because it's about half that right now. But over here on uh, Microsoft Bing showing it as a hold. Uh, and this is dated here yesterday. <clears throat> Sundial uh, drops uh, minus 7.74% in recent session. And so it's just been dropping and dropping. Closed lower on uh, Friday the uh, 21st. So the 52-week price action, uh, we see the stock hit a 52-week high of 396 and a low of 50 cents. When I first got into this one, I was buying it at 50 and 60 cents. It was uh, fall of 2020. Market uh, valuation is $977.12 million at the time of the writing. Is expected to release its quarterly earnings on uh, March 15, 2022 through the 21st. Uh, so we'll see what happens then. Analysts have forecast the uh, company to bring in revenue of $26.39 million for the uh, current quarter. Uh, with the likely lows of $12.78 million and highs of $39.99 million. Company's earnings or reviews to provide a, a brief indication of a stock's direction in the short term uh, were the case of Sundial. No upward or no downward comments uh, were posted. And so we'll go over some ratings here towards the uh, end. Uh, Sundial Growers and Alkena announced the agreement to a revised uh, consideration under the proposed plan and arrangement. This is dated uh, yesterday. Announced that uh, Sundial has agreed to improve the consideration to uh, be provided uh, to the Alkena shareholders uh, for their common shares of Alkena, each uh, pursuant to the uh, previously announced uh, plan of the arrangement under the uh, Canada Business Corporations. Uh, I've talked about this merger uh, once or twice here uh, when I've uh, done the uh, Sundial videos, uh, so we'll see. Uh, what this does to the uh, share price, so the amount of cash consideration and the uh, closing price of uh, Sundial shares on January 5th, 2022 converted. Uh, the revised uh, consideration represents a deemed value of approximately $8.43 per Alcana share. The uh, deemed value implies an approximate 15.3% premium from the closing price of Alcana shares on the Toronto Stock Exchange as of January 5th of 2022. 
yeah, it kind of goes over the uh, special meaning, which is already passed. Uh, so we're going to move on. While Sundial Growers is a good choice for investors after new price target of 79 cents, it seems like every time I talk about this one, they lower that price. Uh, this is just dated uh, yesterday. And it kind of goes over the Alkena announced the agreement and revised consideration under the proposed plan of arrangement. And so, like I said, I've talked about that on the uh, last couple videos. So, we're just going to scroll through some of this information. It kind of goes over some ratings and price action. Uh, again, you can find all this on DBT News. And we'll go over some ratings here towards the end. Sundial Growers, um, stock will have passed the $1 level. This has been the uh, key thing that I brought up uh, with us on the uh, last couple videos. Has had a terrible start to 2022 under threat of delisting. Uh, will Sundial be able to pass the $1 level by February 7th? That's not too far away. First quarter of 2021 was great for uh, Sundial. Uh, get um, the uh, report shares as well as uh, MJ stock in general. For one thing, advances in MJ legislation that put the uh, MJ stock uh, sector on a natural high. <laughs> nice uh, wording. At the uh, same time, invigorated uh, uh, by a series of epic short squeezes like the one on uh, GameStop, uh, Reddit users uh, turned their attention to uh, MJ stocks uh, Tilray and CGC. And so almost need to do that again. Most anticipated earnings. Delisting risk. Uh, since August of 2021, Sundial Growers has been notified that it is in danger of being delisted from the NASDAQ uh, due to its uh, common share price uh, falling below $1 for more than 30 consecutive trading days. And I think it's been there for about three months. The deadline is looming. Uh, Sundial Growers stock must uh, stay above a dollar for at least 10 consecutive trading days uh, so maybe the uh, reddit uh, memes will get back a hold of this one that would be awesome it's worth uh, remembering that it is not the uh, first time the sundial has gone through this kind of hardship late 2020 the uh, nasdaq made a similar threat to a uh, sundial which managed to keep the stock trading over one dollar for two weeks uh, between june so it wasn't too long Company aggressively uh, diluted its shares from 105 million in 2020 to more than 2 billion, 2 billion with a B in 2021. Sundial plans to repurchase about 100 million or 79.6 million worth of its common stock. However, remember that since the buyback announcement, the uh, number of shares held by investors have been reduced uh, due to a sell off. Fed effect. Uh, meanwhile, analysts expect the uh, Fed Reserve to raise interest rates as early as March. Uh, that has complicated the market, especially when it comes to growth stocks. Because the growth stock uh, depends on debt to fund their ambitions, their balance sheets uh, look less attractive uh, when interest rates rise. In addition, investors are seeking safer places to park their money. This kind of goes over the Alcana acquisition. There's the ticker. <clears throat> Purchased uh, would be a good thing for Sundial because unlike Canopy and Tilray, uh, Sundial is focused on Canada where MJ is legal. Uh, there you go. Uh, a lot of them are focusing on the um, United States, uh, but it's not legal here on the federal level yet. So... Last year, uh, meme investors uh, helped heavily uh, shorted uh, stocks like GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, and I made numerous videos about that. That was a fun time. Let's discuss uh, Sundial Growers, a stock forecast. This is dated here today. So again, the 52-week low was $0.40. Cents. Uh, indicates the uh, recent value has a uh, risen by an impressive 9.09% uh, since then 
We note that Sundial Growers Incorporated average uh, daily trading volume that it's a three month average uh, coming in at 107.15 million. Instantly, Sundial has been uh, showing a red trend uh, so far today with the uh, performance of 3.39% on intraday trading today. The uh, performance over the last five days has remained in red territory. So Sundial's going to have to get it together and uh, see what happens with this one. So Over here on uh, Reddit... Why I think Sundial is a great buy. <laughs> it depends if you've already bought into this one. If I didn't have any shares, it would be an excellent buy. But um, I need to buy some more and lower my cost basis for sure. But 52 week low of 50 cents, high of 396. I love the sentence yesterday afternoon. Yeah, WTH. That's what I say. Got to put in the work, time will pay. Over here on uh, MSN Money, currently showing it as a hold, and uh, tip ranks as a hold with a 97% upside to 94, high of 97, low of 90. But that's all that I have on Sundial. If you have this one, go ahead and listen in the comments, along with your cost bases, any other information you'd like to share on this one. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, Go ahead and hit that for me as well. Subscribe in and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.